Hi, I'm Dr. Philip Chang. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate how uh, we do a uh, forehead flap or a nasal reconstruction. Uh, this gentleman um, was uh, bitten by a dog, I believe it was a German Shepherd, and um, you can see here. <laughs> so um, you can see this is his nose, and um, the tip of his nose is missing. Uh, he's missing cartilage here, he's missing cartilage here. He's also, uh, these, this is the alar cartilage, which usually forms a dome here. And then he's missing the um, columellar cartilage, which is, um, uh, you know, usually is the, um, the, the support structure for the, the nasal tip. So all of those structures are, are now missing in addition to the, the soft tissue, um, which, you know, usually creates a nice rim like that. But since that's missing, we can't just close it like this and then close it like that because now his nose is very pinched up and um, depressed. So the plan for his reconstruction is, you know, number one, we need to recreate these um, uh, um, support structures, the, the alar cartilage as well as the columellar strut. And we're going to take that from inside his nose, from the, the septum, in the same way that one would normally perform a uh, septoplasty. So then, um, in order to find um, tissue to cover, um, you know, we, like I said, we, we can't really uh, just close this, um, uh, and uh, we, can't <laughs> we can't really just close it because it's gonna pinch off, and we can't really um, use any local um, tissue rotations because there's nothing to take it from uh, in this area. So, um, the, you know, the two other thought processes would be using a skin graft, which um, you usually don't want to put on the nasal tip because it usually just causes, um, you know, even though it might be covered, it's usually just like a brown patch. Skin grafts all turn brown after a while. So, um, and the other problem with that is you can't um, put a skin graft onto cartilage, which as we just discussed, needs uh, cartilage. Uh, for um, for the support. So what we're going to be doing is something called a f uh, forehead flap. And so this is it drawn out. And so the easy way to think about it is it's going to be based on an artery that starts here. Um, and then we're just going to rotate this pattern and we're just going to rotate it around and it's going to cover the nose. So we'll put the support cartilage grafts and then this is going to cover and um, ultimately, honestly, it's not gonna look all that great to start out with, um, and it's gonna remain attached. Um, and then in about three weeks, what's gonna happen is uh, this tissue that will bring it over um, will get new blood supply from the surrounding tissue. So three weeks is usually enough for that, and then what's gonna happen is once that three weeks is up, we'll divide that flap, uh, that rotation flap here. And then, so obviously he's still gonna have this big old pedicle, this remaining part. And that's gonna be, like I said, divided. So that's gonna be divided here. And this can just be removed. How are we gonna handle this? So this is just gonna be closed side to side. And so unfortunately he will have a forehead, um, uh, you know, scar but we can do things to make it more attractive. Instead of closing it in a straight line, we can zigzag it. Um, or, you know, even later we can do um, uh, laser therapy, which he'll also need for his nose. And in the end, um, uh, we'll hopefully have a uh, excellent looking um, uh, reconstructive nose. Okay, so um, you can see that we've elevated the flap, so we've made these incisions. Um, the flap is taken up off of uh, the, the galea here. Um, sponge, can you have a sponge? Thanks, it's off the galea here, and then onto the periosteum down here, and it's attached to a blood vessel that's right there, so we use the Doppler to find that vessel, or identify that vessel. So what's going to happen is, well, that vessel basically feeds this whole flap, and you can see that it's nice and pink, and there's tissue, or um, it's uh, bleeding at the end. Um, and then what's going to happen is this is going to rotate and be the coverage for there. So, and then we're going to be closing this side to side, so we'll 
take a picture at or yeah, we'll take um, another video at the end just to show you what it looks like. So. We've uh, dissected the cartilage because I needed to find out what cartilage was missing and how it was still attached. And so you can see that here, this cartilage arch goes here, but then this hole from there down to the calumella, that's all missing. This cartilage, um, the other dome is here, and again, it's missing. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna put that strut, that cartilage graft in between, and then we're gonna reconstruct these two domes and it's gonna go something like that. And after that, as I said before, we're going to put that um, piece of tissue back. So. So this is the strut graft, and again, we're just going to recreate this, and um, put it in place with the other cartilage. Okay, so now this is the Collier Miller strut, and you can see that I put the two domes together. Um, so we have the dome here the dome here and the strut here. You can see that we're still missing a little piece of cartilage here, so we're gonna put another strut graft there, or uh, on like, well, it's gonna be sewn in. And then the flap is gonna to have to be inset into this whole area because as you can see, you can't just do that, so. Okay, so what we're doing now is, um, well, first of all, you can see that we closed this I haven't made it pretty yet. We're, there's going to be another layer so that we can get this really nicely closed. You can see this is where the pedicle, um, where the blood vessel uh, we marked out in the very beginning. This is the flap. Um, I've uh, put one stitch here to make sure that it can reach. And what we're doing now is thinning the flap. So because otherwise it's too thick um, for the, um, the you know, thickness of the nose. So here is really kind of cool. You can see the blood vessel that goes right down, right down to the tip. And um, then, you know, again, obviously you can see the flap here. You can see that, you know, it has very good, robust blood supply. And the reason, um, I don't remember if I mentioned it, but the reason why we're using the forehead tissue as the flap uh, is one, we can, you know, uh, base it on a blood supply. But secondly, the color match for the nose is, is great. You know, obviously you don't want to use um, something that's not going to resemble the, um, the, the tissue that we're going to use eventually, so. Okay, awesome. Uh, thanks, Punch. Okay, so here you can see that the flap is inset. Uh, we've recreated his nostrils. They're a little bit distorted now, but um, I think that's basically because this is being pulled. Um, we have the cartilage graft to support everything. Um, here you can see we've closed up the forehead and in about three weeks, we're gonna undo all of this and give a final result. So, okay, thank you. So here we are just dividing the flap. Mm -hmm. So you can see the artery just pumping there, right? So that's the what was supplying the flap here. And the surrounding tissue is now going to be forced to do that instead. Um, you have a plant?
Okay. There we go. Okay, so you can see that this flap is still alive. Um, it's bleeding on this end. Okay, even though we just detached it. <clears throat> and so what we're, we're going to do now. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> You might lose the picture. Uh, nice. Can you raise the bed, please? Stop. Thank you. So we're just again going along the edge of the, um, the nasal dorsum. <clears throat> because this um, tissue Is going to be removed, and this again will will go on top. So. Yeah, let me um, just with some blood. Let's hold a little pressure there. Mm -hmm. The nose has a pretty good blood supply and it seems to want to bleed. Okay, so this is obviously the skin on top of the nose, and you can see that there's um, the muscle of the nose is, is located there. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bovi. Okay, scissors. Oh, guy. Mm hmm. I'm glad you did the number. Mm hmm. I'm glad you did the cheating. That way it's just out of the way. Okay. 
Okay, what we need to do now is to thin our flap because if we were to put this over here, that would be way too thick, right? So I'm gonna thin this out. <clears throat> um, do you have a double hook? Okay, so again, what we're doing now is um, just making this thinner so that it more resembles. So we've thinned the flap out now, and you can see that it's still bleeding. So obviously it's uh, still alive. Um, it's not robust bleeding, it never is. Um, uh, because the blood supply basically, again, it's just really from these two corners now, uh, which has to re uh, resupply the flap. And so what we're just gonna do now is just start closing it. Um, and we're not gonna videotape that because it's kind of boring, but I'll just do this first too, just so you know where it's gonna go. And so you can see this is um, at the top here. Uh, and I'll show you what it's, the contour is gonna be like in a second. So. And so um, this is going to go like so, and they will reconstruct his nose, and we'll show you this finished product later. You can see that it's still going to be a little bit fat here, but you know it's um, we can always thin it out a little bit more uh, down the road. Right now, I, I worry that um, the blood supply will be compromised because, well, as I said, this is where the blood is coming from right now, which is really not much. And so if I thin this out more, um, I'm afraid that would compromise the rest of it going backwards, so. So um, we did set the graft, uh, or rather the flap, so you can see the outline. Um, I still need to put a few sutures there so that um, this we can close up this, this gap. Um, and uh, as far as the donor site, um, we've taken off that, I've taken off that pedicle. Um, I've tried to um, make the opening so that it goes into the, um, the, the normal creases of uh, the forehead, which is, you know, basically diagonal in this direction. And um, we're going to extend it a little bit just to make it a better line. Um, and... After that, we'll just start closing this up, and then I will take a picture of the final result to show. So, thank you. Okay, ready? So, you can see that we've finished. So, um, you know, you can see that the dome is pretty, uh, pretty nice right now. There's the cartilage graft underneath, uh, which we didn't see today, but um, I don't want to. <laughs> so, um, you can see that uh, the dorsal lines are here. And once this heals, um, that should look a lot better. Um, and then you can see this is our donor site. Uh, I tried to close this in the line, as you can see. Uh, these sutures will come out in about a week. And then um, once he heals a little bit more, probably in somewhere like two weeks, we're going to start some laser therapy so that we'll blend out this skin a little bit uh, better uh, to give him um, uh, a better... Um, you know, uh, so it's not as the, so the scar line is not as as obvious. It'll, it'll blend out a little bit more, um, but you can see that the contour is really nice. Only part I don't really like too much is that this is still a little bit thick. But again, I'm hoping that some of this is just congestion, 
and that's going to flatten out because it's actually not too, uh, too bad. Uh, and that's going to look pretty good, I think. So, thank you.